Well, grab your twin, grab your celebrity doppelganger, grab that dude that works at the deli that everybody insists looks just like you, and then when you actually meet the dude, he's like super out of shape and ugly. Grab all of them, because today, we are watching Double Impact. Twice the splits, twice the kicks, and quadruple the cocaine, because this is Red Eye Reviews. Hong Kong. 1966, some business people opened the Victoria Harbor Tunnel. Six years, three banks and $200 million left. Uh, Mr. Wagner's time to rock and roll. This is his bodyguard, and uh, I don't know why his forehead weirds me out. It's kind of like the wrinkles stopped halfway up the thing. But anyways, after the ceremony, they are in their own car, and the bodyguard is in another which is arguably the worst way to keep your boss safe by, you know, not being with him. They even double down and send him home early. You you don't want me to follow you home? Oh, I think I can get home without you, Frank. Catherine, take a look under the front seat, would you please? That's nice, Frank. It's really nice. Oh, what what a nice gift. A cheap, empty cigar box with a used lighter. Fun fact, fans, if you want this exact GIF, go to your local smoke shop and just ask for the box, because they'll usually just give you these things for free. Anyways, they see they're getting followed, so they call back Frank the bodyguard, and he hightails it back over to them. He drives so fast, he goes back in time to when his hair was so much darker and and fuller. (laughs) But these gangsters start shooting up the car. During the fight, the businessman and his wife get killed by Bolo Young. You guys remember Sir Flexalots from Bloodsport? He's the main henchman in this movie, yeah. He uh, couldn't get enough of that Van Damme split, had it come back for seconds. But Frank gets there too late. He starts shooting everybody. He shoots Bolo in the face. It's going to give him a really dope scar and a cool story he can use to pick up chicks. The nanny sees her opportunity, right? Steals her favorite baby, leaving Frank with the not as cool baby for him. But, you know, beggars can't be choosers in this particular situation. So they escape and on their way out notices that the guy who opened the tunnel with his buddy is behind the attack. And now we have motive, sir. We cut to 25 years later. I guess uh, I guess that nanny really did steal that baby because they never met back up after that night. I, I can't imagine why not. You know, stretching is so important because of my big legs and karate. Uh, meet Chad. <laughs> yeah. you, know, you know, that guy acted like a total Chad. His name's Chad. He establishes dominance over this crowd of horny moms by smacking his unprotected junk into the ground repeatedly. No, no, this is business. Take over the karate class. I guess they just opened a gym and moved on with their lives. They didn't go to the cops. They didn't complain to anybody. Nope, we opened a gym and we moved to L.A. I mean, we can't just cut up for two weeks. We've got a business to run. Oh, but why does he sound like he's from some place in Europe, you might ask? You weren't born in France either. I just raised you there. And there you go. They could have picked Belgium. Like, he's actually from Belgium, but I I guess he sounds more French in this movie. Frank sees a picture of Hong Kong Van Damme and then, you know, rather explain that to Chad like an adult. He says we have some business to do in Hong Kong. Yeah, some karate jazzercise business. When they arrive, Chad is stoked. Frankie, check it out. Wow! You you never told me there would be people in Hong Kong. How cool is that? How long? Hotel. How long? Yeah, we're not going to the hotel. They head to a mahjong club, and Chad gets mistaken for his twin. Very nice. Thank you. Go see what she wants. I think she wants to talk to you. And, you know, again, rather than just explain this to a full-grown adult... Uh, he lets Chad get led into the back room and groped by a stranger. And I'm sure there is a better way to introduce twins to each other, but I, for the life of me, I can't think of any. But meet Alex. He's like the cool, tough version of Chad, and you could tell he's cool because he's got a cigar hanging out of his mouth. You've got both of you ten seconds to get the fuck out. So Frank explains what is happening. You ever hear a guy named Nigel Griffith? Halfway through construction, 
He ran into money problems. Alone, courtesy of the Zhang family. They had him and his wife X'd out. But before they partner up to take down Griffith, Alex needs to do some business on a boat. Ah. Yeah. Okay. And while selling these cars, the Hong Kong police show up. But we get at a high-speed boat pursuit, and just as they are about to get caught, Chad pushes those cars into the water, and we use them as giant explosives. Because we all know that's how cars work. Damn it, Jim, they got away. There's no way we could get around these burning cars out here in the middle of the ocean. But back near the club, these gangsters mistake Van Damme for Jean-Claude. It's super embarrassing, and they bring the wrong one to the boss. That was the girl. Now, if you were on my team, we wouldn't be bumping heads this way. Are you telling me that dude held on to the empty cigar box this entire time? It's also weird, because Chad looks at the thing like he's recognizing it. You know, from when he was a baby and his mother found it in the front seat of a car. Anyways, he asks Chad, who he believes to be Alex, to do some business for him, and he says, hell nah. Go fuck yourself. Which naturally leads to a fight. <laughs> and they're all confused, because Alex does not know karate, right? So how can he fight like this? Bolo's trying to get the knowledge out. He starts banging his head into the wall until he forgets second grade math. I also love this dude in the background. He's kind of like a darkness sensing nightlight. He can't quite decide if he wants his shades on or off. But he gets home. He tells himself and Frank what happened. We also learned that Alex's girl works for the bad guy. And she decides to help them out by trying to find like any records of shady business dealings. Everything... Under control, Miss Wild. Yes, thank you. Does Mr. Griffith know you're here? Ooh, okay. Are, are we about a bang right now? What is happening? Security person came in, so I wasn't able to find out anything. That's what your security looks like? What, are people, like, purposely getting in trouble at this company just to interact with her? Anyway, the boys find an old abandoned building to serve as, like, their base of operations for a while. Chad also chose this particular moment to be a total bougie Chad. Your luggage on the floor. Can you show me one spot on the floor without birching on it? And he acts like he's lived on a plush pillow his whole life. You know, even though like three days ago you were teabagging a sweaty dance floor in tights. You're apparently above all this dirty stuff. But with the help of Danielle, they learn of a drug operation owned by the gang. So Chad and Chad... Head out there to destroy it. Also, I guess Chad knows how to shoot guns now, too. Like, is this one of those weird twin telepathy things? But they set some bombs up around the area. They get into a big gunfight. Okay, guys, this is a big deal. You're all going to be so proud of me. Hear me out, the gun in his left hand would have never fired because he didn't pull the top part back after putting the clip in. I mean, it's it was almost too much. My yeah. God, that's oh impressive. My and I think your boy just passed a gun test. I did have a good night. But on the way out, Chad gets caught by the slowest moving henchman here. He's like, ooh, oh man, oh man. Wait till I get this laser all the way up to your head. Oh, you're going to be so dead. But Frank saves the day, and then they blow up the factory. Yeah! Hey, bro, we did it! They next decide to blow up a club where the gang hangs out regularly. I guess they're just going full-blown terrorists at this point, because this is like a public business here, but I don't know, maybe the bombs will only target the bad guys. Despite not even liking Alex, he brings them a crate, he claims it's booze, and then the sunglasses guy who has given up on the look just accepts it. What's that? French cognac, sir, from our friend Alex. Yeah, I, di I didn't even bother to open it. Nah, I'm sure it's cognac. Why would he lie? 
Also, did you guys get a cake in the shape of a container ship? How did you get in contact with the cake boss? That's impressive. But the bombs start going off. The gang starts fighting each other. And then they learn a little bit of a secret. There's two of them. What? There's two of them? However, will we tell them apart? It's easy, you see, one of them uh, has a toothpick in his mouth. But now they all know about Jean-Claude and Van Damme. And then even though she is tied to them, Danielle still goes to work and even calls them from her own landline to meet up with them. That's not a very smart move, miss. But Chad pulls a total Chad move. He goes to look for the other guys for like two seconds and then's like, I'm going to go pick up Danielle myself. Oh, I'm trying to take a joyride. Don't worry. He's totally not going to pretend to be his brother to sleep with his brother's girl or anything like that at all. And then when Alex finds out, he's so upset he punches a phone. I'm going to get him. Chad finds Danielle. But before they can leave, the gang shows up looking for him. Oh, hold on a second. We're going to back that up real quick. You can clearly see that they're on a movie set in this shot. What's outside that door? You, you didn't care to hang a curtain up or anything like that? I'm going to let it slide. But yeah, they get away. They end up jumping in the ocean. They swim back to their boat. Chad drives the thing away because he's absorbed the power to drive boats through his twin brother. All right, firstly, ma'am, go change. You don't come up here in a towel. What are you, what are you doing? Secondly, how the hell is Jean-Claude completely dry? But she had to change and apparently blow dry her hair. I guess the boat has a blow dryer on it. I don't know, your, your brother fought a phone, maybe you can fight water out of your sweater. It is impressive, but back at the base, Alex thinks what we all are thinking, and that his twin is totally going to bang his girlfriend. Not only that, he even imagines it in graphic detail. Whoa, slow down on the iced tea, pal, that's heavily caffeinated. But Chad and Danielle, they don't actually bang but they do lead the bad guys straight to their base. Frank panics. He decides to ditch the boat. you got a lot of explaining to do. Yeah, you're needing to hide the boat, but you just couldn't resist blowing that horn, huh? But Alex attacks Chad, thinking that he banged his lady. <laughs> oh, and he's also learned how to fight. Uh, from just being around Chad, I guess. Hey, hey. You guys out of your mind? You know, the, the movie started with two rather defined characters. They each had different styles and personalities, and then it's just it's just kind of slowly turned into two Van Dams just acting like Van Dam. But after the fight, the twins both run to various parts of the island, and they're exhausted, so they fall asleep in the sand. The next day, the bad guys arrive, and they take Frank and Danielle hostage. And Van Damme and Van Damme arrive to Van Damme late. They still kick a little ass. You know, they capture one of them. They learn where their friends were taken. Hello, Frank. Fuck you. Yeah, take this. It's, it's really going to open up your pores. Ugh, your skin is going to feel so refreshed. So Jean-Claude Van Double arrives and starts fighting their way into the base. Are you telling me you're having a hard time fighting the guy with jingly little shoes? He eventually punches a hole uh, into the darkness to bring in some light into the world. And while that fight is happening, Chad is fighting Bolo. Oh. 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 
you could have done so many other things in this scenario, but uh, kicking it out of the air probably should have been like way, way down that list. But during this fight, the writers Googled the most typical way a bad guy dies in an action movie. Just one time, I want to see a bad guy base that hired a decent electrician. But after the fight, a large explosion rocks the area. The twins! What about the twins? Everybody, they're all dead. They're all dead, is what I would have said if I was there, but I was... Oh, no, he hung up. Van Damme arrives just in time to be a part of a lot of people's personal fantasy. Right? A lot of people would pay money to be in this situation. I say, why fight it? But in a weird turn of events, Van Damme blocks himself from from getting any action. And the girl dies from embarrassment. Or, you know, a knife wound, if we're being technical. So our two final bad guys run off into the docks. Alex goes after the gang boss up a crane, you know, rising the stakes. And Chad and Danielle get trapped by a shipping container. Oh no, the stakes, they're, they're so high. I, I wouldn't want you to fall into the ocean. <laughs> and they said my heavy machinery license would never be useful. <laughs> okay. Then we get the craziest magic trick we have ever seen. Griffin! Okay, see, I I can explain this trick, okay? The twin actually drowned, right? Turns out they're triplets, okay? Didn't even think about that. There's another Van Damme waiting backstage the whole time. Magic is crazy, but he crushes this guy. The other guy literally, like, he just slips and falls off the crane, so that's kind of a lame way to die. I, I bet they won't hug each other until one of them is turned away from the camera. But that's it. That's all I have for you. Two Van Dams, twice the action. So let's double down and head on over to Red Eye Reacts. So during our first shootout of the movie, one of these henchmen is really adamant about repairing their vehicles because they shoot this car's light out three times and the damn thing always seems to turn back on. I don't know which writer was obsessed with crotches in this movie, but somebody was. What else do you have in here? Big surprise. Huge surprise. What's it supposed to do? Make my dick bigger? (laughs) (laughs) You ever hear a guy named Nigel Griffith? That's like asking a New Yorker if he's ever heard of Donald Trump. Ah, if only I was from New York, I would have heard of this Trump fellow. But sadly, no, doesn't uh, really ring a bell. Sorry. Paul and Catherine Wagner and their two sons. Oh my God, we look just like these babies. We're baby people. It must be us. Alex, I think they screwed you. (laughs) Look good to me. Tell me again exactly. Tell me again exactly what Zhang told you about the drop. No, back up. Uh, I'm going to fix this scene. Don't you worry about it. Alex, I think this screwed you. <laughs> Look good to me. Tell me again exactly. Hey, that's one sweet walk, okay? If that old man isn't attracted to you now, he never will be. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, no, I love this game. A room, a swing, a stripper. You, uh, you want a tan. That is it. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked what you saw, please consider subscribing to the channel, like the video, and leave some comments down below. Have you ever had double the fun and double the kicks with double the splits? Spearmint double mint gum. I don't know what that means, but if you want the power to vote on future movie reviews, you can head to the Patreon page and sign up there to do so. 
That link is down below. I would also like to give a huge shout out to all of my current patrons. You guys are one of the main reasons I can even do this channel twice a week like I do currently. I love every movie you guys have ever suggested, and you haven't let me down yet, so thank you so much. If you want to join the Discord community, that link is down below, and my merch store link is also down below. I will see you all next time, and until then, stay happy and stay healthy. Yeah, take this. It's, it's really going to open up your pores. Ugh, your skin is going to feel so refreshed. Oh, <laughs>